I've been working with Cass Hanway to develop a new line of swords. The goal was to make a very practical, functional blade for a very reasonable price. To get really good balanced geometry of the blade, make sure that it would perform uh, for practitioners of skill uh, as well as people that do not have as much training or skill. The fit and finish of the blade is actually quite good. This particular one has a battle wrap leather, gives a very nice grip. You can see the fit and finish here. The Seppa fit with the Koiguchi Kashida. It's very good. This particular blade is Nokubi Zukuri. It makes for a really well balanced blade. These were inspired by Naginata Nagamaki. And you can see the relief on the Mune and how little steel is actually here. There's five blades in the series, along with a Wagizashi and a Tonto. The five blade styles, you'll be able to find one that's to your liking. There's different handle links. This is a 13 inch ska. So there'll be something for everyone in the series. The advantage of using the 5160 steel is that we can get a blade that will flex without taking a set easily. It will be much more difficult to bend these blades, put a permanent set in them, than one that's differentially hardened. The edge is very tough. It's going to be much more resistant to chipping and cracking, yet hard enough to hold an edge, uh, and they'll be relatively easy to micro-edge back to sharpness. The Koiguchi fit is quite good. The movement of the blade in and out of the side is nice. Fit, fit makes it so that the blade moves in smoothly. So, perfectly viable for EI Tomashiri. So you can see how well the sword cuts. That's a nice clean cut at a good angle. So if the hasuji is correct and you cut properly, the sword will cut quite well. If you cut a lot, this would be an excellent blade to facilitate other blades that you have. So the purpose of this, it was not clean cuts, but to show how tough the blade is. See this thick bamboo, see how it went vertical down here, twisted out there, okay? But the blade is still straight and there's no damage to the edge. So you can see we put the sword through a pretty good test. This is tough stuff. Sword stayed straight, edges unchipped, ready for another day.